So Brett, he has been doing awesome with the challenge so far. Um, he, over the course of eight days, he's at $1,307 in profit. Um, so as you can see, um, it's been working. He hit the thousand dollar mark on day seven. Uh, he actually, he actually made a post inside of the school group, um, sharing his experience. Uh, so yeah, you can check that out if you guys want to. Um, but yeah, I'm really proud of the progress that he's made. Uh, it's been great working with him and uh, just letting you guys know that it's totally possible. And like I've said before, everyone who has gone through this challenge, the $1,000 in 10 days challenge has completed it. So uh, the cool thing about what Brett's been doing is, uh, especially in the beginning, he was stacking up a bunch of the, uh, the smaller uh, free bet bonuses as opposed to the larger sign-up bonuses, the, the risk-free first bets. And so, um, yeah, it was, it was great to see him go through that process with the smaller bets first, stack those, and then do the larger bets, um, as I've suggested that you guys could do as well. So looks like he's here. So let's bring him in. Good morning, Brett. Uh, you're muted right now. Good morning. How's it going, man? Good. How are you? Good. So uh, I was just going over uh, your numbers so far um, to share people about your progress uh, through through the challenge. Um, did uh, everything go well yesterday for your uh it was expected about $57 in profit. Does that sound right? Yeah, I think I actually had more. Um, okay. How did that happen? Let's let see. Me... Yeah, I think I had, based on my numbers, I think I had 106 in profit. I'm not sure how. I just counted what I got back. Oh, sorry. Yeah, actually it was. Yeah, I'm, I messed that up because I was only looking at this one. But yeah, 46 plus 57, um, but mm -hmm. give or take a few dollars. So you're saying 106? Yeah. Okay, cool. So I'll update this. So 1356 in total so far. Cool. Nice. Um, for everyone watching uh either live or on the recordings, you have uh anything you wanted to share about the experience working with me so far? I know you posted your testimonial in the school group, but if you if you have any words you want to share about it. Yeah, of course. Um, yeah, I've had just a really good experience so far. I mean, this whole world is completely new to me. Um, being a poker player, I can understand the odds. And, you know I, know, I know a little bit about sports as far as like teams and some of the players. But yeah, the sports betting itself has been very foreign and new. So to have someone like yourself with such expertise to kind of help kind of show me how to do these conversions, how to take advantage of the sign-up bonuses, how to make profits using kind of guaranteed bets and hedging. And I think that's really interesting to me. Um, and that's something I've ever done before. So yeah, I'm excited to kind of keep going with it. And uh, yeah, thanks for all the all the time that you put in and helping me and showing me what to do. And um, yeah, I'm, I'm grateful for that. You're welcome, man. Yeah, I'm glad to see that, you know, it worked for you just like it's worked for me and others. And um, yeah, I'm glad that you're, you're able to see, um, you're able to see the results that you have so far. So I'm glad also that you're eager to learn more as well. So yeah, that's absolutely. cool. Sweet. So, um, 
So we can get to our picks for the day. We've been working on uh, Fanatics. That is uh, the last book that we basically need to get through. They have the uh, the 10 day bet $100, get $100 free bet um, uh, sign up bonus that we've been uh, you know, working with. So um, did you get $100 in free bets? Do you have 100 yeah. in your account right now? I actually have um, two of them now. Uh, they give me the seven and the eight, I think. Okay, perfect. Cool. So then we can do um, $200 in free bet conversions. Sweet. So uh, let's go over to here. Um, so I'm going to need you to share your screen. So I'll stop the share so I can see the lines on Fanatics because they haven't been showing up on Odds Jam. But it seems like that's the only book that we've had an issue with um, yeah. with the lines showing up. So OK, so um, this one might not be bad. The Knicks and the Magic. Okay, perfect. The Knicks plus 140 money line. And the Magic. Um, and are we doing the um, the 100 or the bonus? Uh, honestly, we might be able to do both on this. Okay. I think we could probably knock them both out with this. Um, mm -hmm. Just because it's a plus 140. Let me just check to make sure. Um let me do the calculator. Uh, yeah, we could get 56% on this. Okay. So it would be for the two bets, it would be 112 profit for the two bets. Cool. Does that, does that sound reasonable? That's good. Okay. Cool. All right. So, um, and because it's a money line, like as opposed to a player prop, I think you'll be able to get it all down. Remember how you had an issue yesterday with yeah. um, mm -hmm. where Fanatics was limiting you? Yeah. So you should be able to get it all down. So, um, okay. So head over to, uh, it looks like ESPN bet. Do you have any funds in that account? Or if you need to unshare your screen to load to load funds, you could do that. Yeah, let's see. I'm not sure what I have. I have 235 on here. 235. Okay. Um let's see. So for the first one where we just put the hundred down. Um, you'll only need 144 or one 145. Let's do. Okay. Um, so magic minus 150. You want to put 150, 150 on that, or sorry, 145. 145. Yeah. And then make sure it hasn't changed. Yep. And then just put the hundred. All right. Yep. You can go ahead and place it. Okay, sweet. So you got that one. Uh, let me just write this down. So that was a loss of probably about like five bucks okay. to get um, to get the hundred dollar free bet. Okay. Um, and then uh, it looks like you're gonna need a hundred and seventy. So um. So on the ESPN bet side. Okay. So um, just, yeah, go ahead and add what you need. Probably like 100, right? Was there not, like 90? Yeah. Yeah, 100. Okay.
finish there again. Okay, so do the same thing. Uh, yes. Yeah, same play. Plus 140 here. And minus 150. So actually, yeah, 170. So go back to the Fanatics. You should be able to get that down on ESPN bet. I'm I'm just not sure if you'll be able to get these down on Fanatics. So put okay. so yeah, try to place both the bonus bets and see what happens. So you'll place one. Okay, and then do it one more time. Yep. Got Perfect. Back. Okay. And then the one yep. here, right? Exactly. Okay. It looks like it went through, right? Yep. Okay. It didn't, for some reason, it didn't give like a confirmation, but there you go. Yeah. Cool. Sweet. So that was easy. So print screen. Uh, I am curious. Um, can you go into your DraftKings account and see if you have any DraftKings dollars? Sure. Um, just because I, I, I don't remember how many bets we've done on DraftKings, but remember when I was telling you about the Caesars points that we did yesterday and how DraftKings has a similar program? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm just curious if if you've accumulated anything there as well that we could use for to use for bets tomorrow. I have 138 crowns. I don't know what that means. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, that's not very much. <laughs> so never mind on that. Um, okay. So I'm just gonna share my screen real quick. Okay, so this was a profit of 112. Um, and then expected total profits for the day is um, 107. And the time it took us about 15 minutes so that was that was a quick one that might have been great. our fastest one that's great yeah well sweet man um nice. so it's for tomorrow uh same thing we're gonna do uh the daily bet and get and the uh, hundred you should have another hundred dollar free bet conversion that's really cool that they sent you the two. So you're basically all caught up at this point. Perfect. So then you only have, looks like two more days to go, right? Yeah. Because yeah, I think, I think so. day day yeah, 11 nine, is going to. So today's nine. And I added an extra day because um, that one on Fanatics voided. But right. so wait, was today when you opted in? To, the today, fanatics yeah so today when i opted in was day nine but the oh, okay the bonuses, we, the bonuses we used were seven and eight so we still have to use nine and ten when they come in gotcha yeah so then yep. we'll we'll need a, an 11th day to do the 10th cool all right man um so i think that's all i got for you today um sounds good yeah. Do you think there's anything um, that would be useful to share with uh, with anyone here in terms of um, like what you've had to kind of overcome in terms of 
I guess, your mindset going into this stuff? Yeah. Um, so a couple things, I think for me, um, I initially had reservations about, well, just one, like as a Christian, just some reservations about uh, doing this kind of betting or doing this kind of like, is, you know, if the sports books don't like it, is that something that I, that I should morally be doing or that sort of thing? And I think I, you know, I wrestled with it and I prayed about it and I kind of came to grips with the fact that like it's it's not an illegal thing. Um, and this is actually something that's pretty common as far as like hedging your bets and arbitrage and all these sorts of things. And like, of course, sports books aren't going to like it. Like there's a lot of things that sports books aren't going to like. And when I kind of realized that sports books can limit you and ban you for a lot of different things, just kind of even if you were to just play normally and just win a lot, they could do that. Mm -hmm. um, it made me realize that, yeah, I, I think just because they don't like you making profitable decisions isn't a reason not to make profitable decisions. <laughs> um, so yeah. that kind of helped me overcome, you know, this, this, the reservation that I had about that. Um, mm. Yeah. So that was just an interesting take that might be a little bit unique for my experience just because of my faith but um yeah so that was that was something i think was a uh, was was from a from a spiritual angle on that um mm -hmm. from a practical angle i think just it was really helpful for me to have kind of just keep organized like i, I keep an organized tally on my own in addition to the sheet that you're sending or that you're updating um, mm -hmm. from a practical side of just like, you know, what, what am I betting each day? What am I getting back? Um, keeping track of the bonus bets. And then, you know, also just from a financial bankroll perspective, like keeping a good understanding of what's on each book and being organized and yeah. And then also just having having my logins be biometric is really helpful because it's just so much faster than typing in passwords. So <laughs> all nice. those things are, I think are just little tips that I've kind of just over the past week been able to implement to make this a lot more convenient. Gotcha. Nice. Well, I'm glad you've been tracking it and I'm glad you overcame that, that mental hurdle. Um, yeah. It, it's kind of, it's funny. It kind of reminds me of, um, I forget what the name of the documentary was, but there was a group of, uh, uh, I think some kind of Bible study group or mm -hmm. some kind of church group that all organized together to basically uh, beat the casinos in blackjack. Have you ever seen that documentary oh. or have you heard of that? I don't, I haven't heard of it. No. It was kind of like, have you ever seen the movie 21? where they'd like yes, have like a, a have group of people. Yeah. It was kind of like that just with within like a church group. So it was it, it was kind of it was fun to watch. Um, you know, they they had their own philosophies on it. Um, I don't know, maybe maybe that could inspire you in some way. <laughs> so, yeah, that's interesting. Yeah. Well, it's, it's you know, like the the Bible doesn't condemn gambling and gambling is used a little bit in certain situations to kind of let let the lord choose outcomes for things but um you know it's really just the, the big the big caution is about love of money and mm. letting greed and those sorts of things consume you so i think you use it like like it is with poker for me is is i'm i use anything i make or any kind of earnings or profits um you know not as obviously I profit from it. And so therefore I, I make a living off of it, but I don't use it as a, I say, let's just say I don't worship it. Um, and I use it as, I use the money as a tool for, for doing good things in life and, and using that money for, for good purposes. So um, yeah, I think that's, that's a, a Christian way to look at it. And, uh, and I, uh, yeah, that's just my, my perspective on it. Nice man. Yeah, try to, cool. use, try to use money to help, try to use money to help people, which you're definitely doing. So, thanks, man. Yeah, I mean, 
uh, it just requires my time at this point. So, <laughs> but I yeah, need money too. So, it's true. Cool, man. Well, um, yeah, thanks for for participating in um, you know this challenge, and uh, we still have a couple of days left. And thanks for sharing your thoughts about um, you know how it's gone for you so far. And uh, yeah, I look forward to finishing it up with you and uh, and seeing you know where it takes you and and if you know you continue down this path. Um, I'm here to help you anytime. Great, great. That's awesome. I appreciate that. For sure, man. Cool. Well, uh, I think we'll wrap it up. And uh, sounds good. Yeah. Have a good one, Brett. And uh, right. tomorrow Thanks, morning, man. tomorrow morning, same time work for you. Yeah, absolutely. Okay, cool. I'll see you then. See you, Jordan. Bye.